counting double digit thousands. <laughs> Hello YouTube, we are back again to show you how to make LEDs beat to the music. Now these are particular LEDs that I ran two separate sets that are in series connected to each other. I showed you how to run those in another video. Check that out if you don't know how to run them. This is by far the cheapest way to do it. First, what you want to do is make sure your LEDs match your power input. In this case, this is going to be a 12 volt system so we are running LEDs in series that use a resistor to keep it down at 12 volts. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to run a positive and negative wire out of your LEDs and you're going to run them to your subwoofer output. Now this is a 2.1 board so it has a particular subwoofer output. What that does is anytime the subwoofer hits it does it creates this uh, pulsing sensation. Now if the subwoofer hits harder, they'll be brighter. If you notice, sometimes they're brighter and sometimes they're dimmer. That depends on the how hard the subwoofer actually hits. Now, if you don't have a 2.1 system like what we're doing here, that is fine. What you can do is uh, you can do it with any type of system that has a tweeter and a midwoofer in there as well. That would be called a two-way system or even a three-way system. If you have a three-way system, that would be a tweeter, midwoofer, and a uh, regular woofer. And in a three-way, you're going to connect these wires directly to the woofer terminals on the back of the speaker. Now, this is just a normal full-range speaker, but if this was a woofer, we would connect the positive to the positive and the negative to the negative, and that would, anytime this would beat, then it would, it would give that signal. Now, in a two-way system, you're just going to hook it up to the mid-woofer, and it is that simple. Now, guys, it really is an easy thing to do. So if you want your LEDs to beat to the music, just go ahead and hook it up to either the midwoofer, uh, your subwoofer output, or your woofer channel, and you'll start having this. Now, if it was me, I would hook it up to a power switch too, so then you can shut it on and off. Now, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. Now, this is part of my ultimate Bluetooth ammo boom box build so check that out if you want to see how these were actually incorporated into the build thanks guys have a great day